Hello YouTube, how's everyone doing? This is Addicted to Capping here. And we're back with more Grand Theft Auto 5 and the Kyle Perico heist. And we're back with more what has been complete and total frustration on my part. <laughs> because I suck at stealth. I have found this heist to be half enjoyable and half complete and utter frustration at times because when I take down a guard, it either alerts somebody or the darn stealth mechanics when I'm scoping something out something happens and I get caught. I don't know what Rockstar employee sitting there at that meeting goes, I got it. Let's have a complete heist centered around stealth mechanics. <laughs> but here we are. <laughs> it's it's enjoyable, but at the same time, it can be maddening at times. Okay, now I have a specific route that I take when I do this. I go to the top of the stairs first and I take this guy out and then I go around here and I kill this guy walking across the, uh, what do you call this, the walkway here. Because this leads me right to the staircase and then, oh. excuse me, what I like to do is, is I like to wait, I like to stand here and wait for the juggernaut to pass past me because what I have found is is the damn juggernaut in playthroughs before the juggernaut has uh, at the base of the tower where El Rubio's office is when I kill the guards below the tower the juggernaut will alert and sound the alarm when he spots the bodies because he passed right past the damn bodies of the other guards. So I have found that I like to take the juggernaut out right here. So it's best to just, for me anyway, to take the juggernaut out right here. And then I uh, like to take this guy out right here too because it clears the way for me to go the rest of the way. I thought I messed up here because I missed the camera and I thought it was going to alert the security. <laughs> I was like, crap! <laughs> huh. I was uh, curious about this door over here, so I went over here and checked. I uh, decided to get this guard while he come across and passed over here because uh, the two guards that pass intersect, they intersect when they come back down this way. Uh, it's the same with all the guards around the tower. Um, I don't need the gate keys anymore because I found a different route to get out of here. I'll show you that. Uh, you can just go out up the walk, climb over the railing and jump down. And then you don't need to go out of the gate. You can just go up the stairs out the other side. And you can walk right past them when they're not looking. You can take out the one guard. And then when the other guard passes down the other way, you can take them out. 
And then I wait for that one guard to get down, to pass down the other way before I kill that guard right there because his cone is in the path of that guard. And if you shoot him then, he will hear that guard go down. And then this guard right here, you have to wait. See how their cones intersect? Wait for this guard here on the right to pass down, back down towards the south before you take this guard out or that guard will hear you drop this guard. Now you're clear to take out that guard. I know you want to get through this as fast as possible, but sometimes being taking a more calculated approach to this and taking your time with it is a lot better. Now you have a, just an easier, now they won't detect you if you wait for the guards to path around. Unfortunately, I didn't get any secondary paintings up here. I always check this vault for the cash. These uh, fingerprint scanners are actually not that hard to do. They're a lot easier than the uh, casino. Uh, hacking things were on the vaults. I think because it's just one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six. You just got to go through and match up because you can usually the bottom three or the bottom two are in sync and then the top two are in sync and then you got to go through and match the middle three. And then if the first two and the bottom two are in sync, all you got to do is go through and match the middle three. So you got to go through and start at the third one. And then you got to find the fourth one and then the fifth one. So I got the pink diamond in this one. Which I think is 1.3 million. Uh, it's the second highest aside from the, uh, what is that? That damn diamond in, or the, the jewel encrusted panther. Uh, if you're on controller on this, I found that you just press the uh, right trigger, the, the right bumper, and alternate back and forth between red and not red, and do that four, five, six times, and it'll get done a lot quicker between overheating and letting it cool, and do that. Uh, a few times and it'll get done a lot quicker and then I just exfilled at the dock and got uh, the remainder of my loot filled with cash and I will see you guys back at the city don't forget to like subscribe and comment for more and I'll see y'all next time